Hello, I'm Joe with Backcountry Solar. Today we're going to talk about the, the correct battery connections. Through the summer here we can get a lot of RVs in and in the past that batteries in them are connected incorrectly. So we're going to talk about the 12 volt batteries. A lot of RVs that have been coming in here are connected in this manner where the positive and the positive of the 12 volt are connected and negative and negative. But what we're seeing is the positive and the negative to the RV are connected off of one battery. With this being done, you're only using the power from this one battery. Very little from this, and this one just drains down to a point where it has voltage, but very little amps left in it. When you have a 900 amp battery, that's very important, especially for your RV, because that will allow you to camp and stay out longer. To resolve this problem, you want to disconnect your negative off of this battery here. This negative is normally connected at the bottom end to the frame with a bolt that goes through the frame. You can remove that bolt and take and install it on the other side of the frame. Do not lengthen this. If you need to make it longer, take it off totally and have a longer one made for you if you're unable to do so yourself. So it is not recommended to uh, add to 12 volt cables. The correct connection would be to put the negative on this other battery. With that being said, at that point, you are pulling totally through both batteries. The positive hooked to this one, and the negative is hooked to this one here. You are charge pulling power from both batteries, and you are charging back through both batteries. That will actually increase your usage. A uh, fine example is if an RV comes in with two 12 volt batteries as such, and it is hooked incorrectly, it takes about a day and a half, sometimes two full days, to get it fully charged back up and equalized back out, as long as the battery is still in good shape. If the battery comes in and it's hooked correctly and we do solar, within three hours or so, the batteries are totally full and equalized out already. But with that being said, after a day and a half, you're looking at having to put about 70 amps back in this battery to get it fully charged if it's hooked incorrectly. The most popular batteries today there are out in the market are the six volt batteries. So we wire those together in a series from a negative to a positive, as you can see by the colors. And then your camper hooks to the positive here and your camper hooks to the negative here. That is 12 volts at that point, okay? Having two of these, if you're gonna replace your batteries versus two of these, it's pretty much about like having three of these. These you can take down to about 40% before they need charging, before damaging them. These here you can only take down to 60%. These are a golf cart battery. They are a true deep cycle. Each battery weighs about twice as much as one of these. So, but please go out and check your camper. We have a lot of people that are saying they're only able to stay out there for a day and a half, two days. And they have two batteries in them. And the reason why is because they were hooked in correctly. They're only using one battery. So that other battery, if it's hooked in correctly, it's just sitting there. You might as well take it out if you're not going to hook it correctly. Because you're just hauling around weight you don't need. This is Joe with Backcountry Solar. And thank you and have a good day.